Well, this is it, everybody. It's Hayden's removal time with the help of the Chuckle Brothers, AKA the Two Steves. Um, and Lana, of course, as well, because I'm sure she, she'll help us. We're in the van. We've got a Luton tail lift van. Um, and uh, I'm just about to go home, meet up with the Steves and Lana, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna get cracking, get this van filled up. Probably gonna take two trips, I think. See how it goes. Let's go. Just before we go and get this move started, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the empty space in the new house that's gonna hold the business. This is going to be my packaging area, hopefully. Um, it's a nice little space here. Um, and there you can see it's got its own enclosed door under the stairs. And in through this doorway, this is the back of the garage. Um, and we're calling it the sauna for obvious reasons. They've created a little cloakroom area. This is going to be part of my storage space. We're actually going to get a door put in on this wall here, there's going to be a door that goes through to the garage area for the other part of my storage. Right there, they're going to put a door in there, hopefully. Maybe we'll see that at the end of the video. This is actually the other side of that wall. It's a garage space with all the usual bits of garage stuff in it. So this is going to be transformed into the other part of my stock room. And the door is going to go on that sort of studded wall there in the middle. With a bit of luck, hopefully, you'll see that in a short while. Here we are, we're getting there. I've done most of this myself, to be honest. The other two have not been much out. Oh, here he is, Big Steve. What do you want me to do with that? <laughs> uh, it's going to have to go down that little gap. Yeah. All right, little Steve, big Steve, Hi. movie hey. chat boys. S and S rubles. Look at this job. This is pro. This. Here he is. Girls are up to. Hey, what do you reckon the girls are up to? Not a lot. Having a brew, probably. I just found a kitchen box upstairs, Chris. I'll come in the other kitchen boxes. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the other Steve's doing. How's the Tetris going? Alright. Look at that. Awesome. We're getting there. Good job. Not watched that one yet. Lady Vengeance. I'll have to dig that out. Yeah, we've got a few more in there, can't we? Almost empty in here. Kitchen. Yeah, getting there. There we go, first load is in. Good job, that I reckon. Yeah, I can. Big Steve? Yeah, it's good. I think we've done well there. We'll come back for the second load and that should do us. Where's little Steve buggered off to? He's here. Skyping all morning. Oh, here he is. Where have you been? I had to get Look back. at what we've just done. Yeah, all right, mate. Oh, this. All right. <laughs> Here they are, the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> to me, to you. <laughs> First load is in. Thanks, boys. Appreciate your help. No worries, right. mate. Next time, help us. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of making videos. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's go. So. Look at these two lazy bastards sat here while I've done all the work. <laughs> and Lana there. Lana's done more work than these two That's put together. So <laughs> yeah, he's found time to do recording. <laughs> We're nearly there. One more trip to do. Mm. Don't be so enthusiastic. <laughs> Come on. This was the stock room. And now most of it is in there. Second van load by these two. And the heavens are about to open. That way. Let's get back, shall we? Let's go. Mm -hmm. And little Steve even dug this out the garden. You're so welcome. The tyre that Big Steve sent in the post. 
I thought we'd managed to leave that behind. Come on, you lot, waiting. Yeah, whatever. He's filming again. Shocking. Stick it in. Can you get it on top of that one, Steve? Yeah. Look at that. And Lana's at oh, it as well. Down. There's one for you. Oh, for Break sake. them all <laughs> This is the stock room so far. We're nearly full. Still space, there's this little bit here. Yeah. Thanks very much, boys. Really appreciate it, genuinely. No problem. Absolute lifesaver. Now, you know how I said I was gonna buy tea? <laughs> yeah, you definitely are buying Right, tea. well, we didn't do it by the time the football was ready, so you didn't meet the target. <laughs> so. That's Steve's fault. He was like, he was lacking, lacking a bit. Blame the fat kid. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Steve. Harsh, harsh. Harsh, isn't it? Right, thank you very much, though. Appreciate buddy. it. More than welcome. Don't mate. forget, everyone, movie chats Thursday night at 7 pm. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> so, at the moment, this is my stock room. And I just had to pick from this, which was horrendous. Um, but it's a work in progress. This is going to be the main stock room with boxes. And then I'll show you. Um, I can't actually get through because this is more stock here. This is ridiculous. Over there, that's going to be my packaging area. And then just around the corner here is what we call the sauna. And that's going to be more stock. That's all going to be shelved stock. So um, you might have seen it earlier on in the video, but that's going to have shelving in it, so loose stock. And then uh, I'll show you in a second uh, how the office photography area is coming on. So this is the office as it stands. I've just set up enough for me to get by at the moment. Scales, printer, laptop. I can do it on that. There's no photography area, but it's going to be in here somewhere. Um, yeah, this is going to be office photography and YouTube studio, multi-purpose. Um, so the next time you see this, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better than that. No more cycling jerseys. <clears throat> no more. cycling jerseys <clears throat> oh I'm absolutely knackered uh, spent most of the afternoon and evening clearing out of the house all the stuff that we don't need in the house so putting it up in the loft I think that was the best way to start so that it freed up space in the house and in my stock room because obviously as you could see you couldn't move in there so I have managed to do that all this behind here this is all unlisted stock so I'm putting all my unlisted up here and then when I'm ready when I'm ready I can't even speak now when I'm ready to list it I'll pop up, get some gear, and um, pop back down again. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're up to. It's looking a lot better. I feel a lot better because I was a bit overwhelmed before. Um, the rest of the stuff in here is home stuff, which was slowly filling up, which again is leaving room in the house to get everything else ready. So I think that was a good move to do that. 
I'm going to call it a, a day for tonight and I'm going to work some more tomorrow and hopefully get the stock room looking a bit better and the office a bit more set up. See you then. Well, it's taken a while to get everything sorted, but um, home and business is pretty much all done and set up a couple of weeks after moving in. And I'm going to show you how the business looks now. So we'll start off. This is going to be my packaging area, as you can see. Um, it's all nicely stacked up, all my boxes. I've got like void fill in there, bubble wrap and stuff, newspapers underneath. Got my printer there and my scales. So I'm going to do all my packaging in here. Um, all I have to do is bring my laptop down when I'm ready to do it so that I can connect up to my printer spare stuff in there in the corner so this is really nice and i wanted to have a slightly higher packaging desk so this is where i actually do the packing on here mostly unless it's something big and then i'll go there because otherwise it does me back in if it's low like this it does me back in so this is slightly higher and that works really well that's just two tables stuck together basically and when i'm picking orders like if i've got a weekend and a lot of orders to pick I just stack them on here. I might pick some on a Saturday, so I stick them on there. And then come Monday, it's ready to go. Everything that I've sold will be sat there waiting. So that's the idea behind it. So that is the packaging area. And it's quite a nice little spot. So yeah, very happy with that. Now, if we walk through here, this is the back of the garage. And this is um, half of my stock room. This is all the stuff that I've managed to put out loose. Everything's on shelving. It works out really nice. Um, this has removed a lot of stock from uh, like boxes. So this is a lot easier to pick now when I come to picking orders. So I've got a lot of this plastic shelving, which is absolutely brilliant. You can fix one of these shelving units up in less than five minutes. It's a piece of cake. So it's all kind of in categories, as you can see. So I'll know where it is roughly. I don't need to label the shelves, I don't think. But yeah, so as you can see there, all toys on that side, all my little vinylmation figures. So a lot of this stuff was boxed up and very, very difficult to pick. This is all my ceramics and mugs and stuff. I know it's a little bit dark in here on the video, but it's fine in in the real sort of light. Um, but yeah, so this is the first part of the stock room. Now then, we actually had this door installed. It's not finished yet because we've got pipes at the bottom here, which are going to be moved to across the top of the doorway, which obviously it's a bit dangerous there. Um, the plan was always to move them above so we're just waiting for the guy to come back and finish that job and that'll be nice but th there was no door in here so what we had to do is um we had to go outside to the front of the garage to come in and we've also got a washing machine in there as well so it was a bit of a pain in the backside so we paid to have this door installed and actually it's a godsend it really is and they've done a really good job it's really nice just got to get this sorted out. Um, and this is my boxed storeroom. As you can see, I've got boxes on both sides, all labelled up. It's still not numbered, but I don't think it really needs to be, really. Um, it would be nice to be numbered, but it's not essential because I've reduced the number of boxes a lot uh, by having the uh, shelving stock room. So, yeah, there's still plenty of room up here, you see. I've got room at the end where the garage door is because I'm not planning on very rarely opening that door. Um, I've got tons of boxes left here. The All these crates are spares. I've actually chucked a lot of these. I've gone through, I swapped them out for the decent crates because a lot of them had broken during transit and over time. These just don't last very long at all. Um, but yeah, so I've got plenty left to go on. So, and I'm really happy that 
there's plenty of room in here still. So that's the stock area. And this is my new office and YouTube studio. Really happy with how this has turned out as well. So I've got some new lighting in here. These new big, newer lights. Katan recommended me to these and they're pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. So I'll be doing closing in the corner there. Um, smaller items here on this sort of space here. I still kept my handheld lights because they come in useful as well. Um, and I've got these four desks, one, two, three, four, lining the room, which is quite nice. It gives me plenty of space to work and do stuff. So I might list something there, plonk it there, you know, that kind of thing. And I just work over in the corner here. Who's on YouTube at the minute? That monumental, possibly. Yeah, so this is, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's turned out nice. It's much, much bigger than the last office I had, if you remember. It's at least twice the size, maybe even a little bit more than twice the size. It probably is, actually, looking at it. Maybe two and a half times, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm happy that I've got all the different spaces going on here. Lots of room for working. There's no packaging to be done up here. There's no labelling, uh, nothing. This is just listing, YouTube, everything else gets done downstairs. So there you go. So big shout out to the two Steves and Lana who came down all the way down to Devon to help us move. They did a great job. Thank you guys very much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we couldn't have done it without you, definitely not. Um, but the outcome is great. I'm really happy with how the business is set up. And of course our home, because this is our home as well. So it's been a stressful time. Uh, it actually made me ill at some point because I was exhausted and, you know, it's stressful, isn't it? Um, but it's all done now and I can crack on. Christmas is almost here. And New Year, new start will we'll start as we mean to go on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for sticking with the channel. And there's new things to come soon in the new year. So take care. Bye, everyone. See ya.